Now, thank you so much for the opportunity, um, board. Uh, my research is on um, multifaceted automatic classification of digital objects. Um, my supervisors were Dr. Leighton Piri and Dr. Nirenda. Now, part of the core mandate for high education uh, institution is teaching and research. And during this particular process, digital objects such as seminars, uh, seminar papers, conference papers, technical reports, data sets, thesis, dissertations, preprints, post prints, uh, journal articles, images, audio data set contents are created. Normally, the standard practice for higher education institution is to deposit these digital objects into the publicly accessible institutional repository. Now, IRs are specialized type of digital libraries that provide the ability to store, manage, and disseminate intellectual product, uh, product created by higher education institutions. Now, the main motivation for most higher education institutions to set up IRs has mainly been to enhance the visibility of the organization's research outputs, preservation, and provide anytime, anywhere, availability of the published research for free. Now, currently, you may wish to know that the research output is one of the tools that is used for university rankings. Now, currently, the University of Zambia's uh, library is responsible for injection and submission of digital objects into the IR. And they're using a manual method for injection of these digital objects into the IR. Now, as you may know, manual document classification is known to be tedious time-consuming and prone to error, resulting into digital objects having incomplete metadata, and in practice, missing data data results in, in, into ineffective searches for content, ones that will recall the wrong resource, or in certain situations, the resource is not found or invisible to the intended user. Therefore, research uh, proposed uh, a more fasted automatic classification of digital objects into the IR. And this is an example of how the um, IR looks like in the, and the communities in the UNSA repository. Now, the problem statement, the, the, the UNSA library is responsible for injection and submission of digital objects into the uh, IR. And the, the administrators have continued facing challenges in the injection and, sub, uh, injection and submission process because of the traditional method being used. And as a result of that, errors such as wrong classification of digital objects and incomplete metadata of digital objects have continued to occur. And in practice, wrong classification of digital objects uh, or missing metadata results in, in two ineffective searches for content. Thanks, Dr. Pai. And the prototype tool that we uh, we use that will use the transcription models for effective injection of digital objects uh, into the IR. And the significance, uh, the main objective of the study was to investigate the feasibility of implementing classification models for automatically classifying IR digital objects using supervised uh, learning uh, methods. Now, the study was guided by the following uh, objectives. The first one was to analyze how digital objects are organized into the IR, uh, to analyze how digital objects are tagged prior to injection into the IR. And the last one was to implement a model or models for automatic classification uh, of uh, IR uh, digital objects. And the research questions were how are digital objects currently organized into the IR? Then how are digital objects tagged uh, with metadata during injection into the UNSA IR? 
And the third one was, is it feasible to implement a model for automatic classification of IR digital objects? And the significance uh, of the study, uh, so the study aimed at the tagging and injection process of digital objects into the IR. And we hope that the research findings of this uh, can also contribute to the knowledge base. And it also anticipated that this research will help other higher education institutions experiencing similar problems of metadata. Now, um, due to the, high, the increased desire by higher education institutions to expedite classification of digital objects and also the desire for proper targeting of digital objects, necessitated document classification to become a well studied program. Now, what others have done to solve the document uh, classification problems like Kaneo and Eto, they exploded how to automatically classify scoring outputs into various categories. Their work, of course, uh, focused, their work was generic, thus it included classification of curriculum details. Kageo and Eto also dealt with the problem of classification by classifying documents like user manuals and um, manufacturing documents. Then uh, Conerius and Carreras also dealt with the problem of automatic detection of emotion in music. Their work was trying to establish the relationship between music and emotion. And the third one was uh, Botel and Eto focused on video and photograph analysis. In the semantic uh, scene classification, a picture can be associated to more than one conceptual class, such as a sunset or a beach. Now, closer to our work is the work done by Kagero and, uh, and Eto, which looked at the classification of text uh, documents clothed from the web. They proposed the use of structured features, which was aiming at uh, classifying of documents into books, slides, pieces, and uh, curriculum detail. Now, although many studies have been done on uh, document classification, most of them had been, uh, had been classification of web page classification. Now, in contrast from the above works, our research looked <coughs> at academic output that is preserved and stored into the IR. And we solved this uh, problem by taking the supervised learning approach because we perceived this to be a pure machine learning classification model. And how we achieved this was by following the CRISP DMI model because we it is a well-established data mining model. So these are the stages of the CRISP DMI uh, models that we apparently went through during the study. Now to address objective... Sorry, of someone is asking you to remove that window which is saying stop sharing. Oh, it's, oh. Ob it's obstructing the text. Oh, no, sorry, Chef. Now, to address objective one, uh, a total number of 5,000 meter uh, data with their respective digital objects were harvested using a Python script, which was developed by the researcher. The results indicated that digital objects were wrongly classified and also, most importantly, meta, uh, most important meta elements were missing. So this is uh, the, the results where we are able to see here the percentage, and if you're able to see here these small ones, was the schools which had wrong classification of digital objects. And in total, we had 9% of the uh, digital objects were wrongly classified. And the one which had many of uh, wrong classified data was the veterinary uh, uh, medicine. Uh, and. Uh, Address objective number two, exploratory interviews were conducted in order to understand the current workflow of ingestion of digital objects into the IR. So it was established that there are two workflows, one for ETDs and others for other digital objects. So for ETDs, this is the workflow where they, once uh, the thesis and dissertations have been marked and uh, approved for, uh, for ingestion, they'll be given to DRGIS, the DRGIS will give that information to the library. So there's a hard copy and a soft copy. The hard copy is stored in the library. The soft copy is the one that is given to the special collection departments in the library. And uh, thereafter, it's then ingested into the IR. Then for the other digital objects, like conference papers are sub uh, submitted directly to the, um, to the library. 
Now to address objective number three, three classification models, uh, collection, publication, and subject types were developed. And um, for the first one, the collection model, the main aim of the experiment was to classify digital objects according to the collection, according to the schools. And we use six different types of uh, estimators that logistic regression yielded uh, better results. Now, you may wish to know that during this particular study, we had used uh, three different, uh, like the first one, we used the title as a feature. Then the second one, we used the combination of, uh, we used the abstract. Then the third results, it's showing the results of the combination of the abstract and the title. And among the three uh, experiments, we observed that the combination of the title and the abstract yielded better results. And statistic um, regression estimator out, you know, outperformed the other estimators. document type like is it a journal paper is it a book is it a thesis uh is it a conference paper and like we did earlier on here we were now using the pages we're extracting the first pages as an as an input feature in our for our models now like also uh, like we also did earlier on, what had happened is that we used um, for our experiments, we had converted the input feature using the TD uh, the TD uh, counter vector for the conversion of our, our, of our features. And from this, again, we also uh, used six different estimators. And uh, from our results, we observed that our support vector machine, uh, outperformed the other estimators. And the last one, which we did, was the subject, which is a multi label classification model. And for this particular one, we were trying to, uh, uh, we were trying to classify objects according to the subject, because we noticed that certain objects have got multi, uh, the multi labels. Okay, so in this particular one, uh, what we did was we also used the title as the input feature and the abstract as an input feature. Then we combined using the abstract and the title as an input feature. And like also we observed from the other experiments, a combination of the title and abstract um, outperformed uh, the respective experiments of using the title and the abstract as in uh, input features. And we also had run three different estimators. We used Mount Nomino and the Random Forest and the STD uh, classifier. And for this particular one, we had used Hamming and uh, JCAT as in the, the, the estimators for this particular experiment. Then finally, to, in order to see the feasibility of our research, if this can be implemented, we had used the collection classifier where we have developed the, uh, the deployed one model. And this, this is where we are getting now the abstract and using it as an input. Then the system was able to classify the, uh, the collection to which this particular uh, digital object uh, belongs to. Uh, then the conclusion, the purpose of this research was to explore the feasibility of implementing multi fasted automatic classification of digital objects using machine learning. And from the results that was obtained and from the experiments uh, it was, uh, that was carried out, it was concluded that it is visible to implement a multi fasted automatic classification of digital objects using machine learning. The recommendation is that uh, future works with evaluation of the proposed approach for the other digital objects because what we looked at mainly was just uh, journal papers, conference papers. The model did not cater for past papers and also undergraduate research reports. Then we, our, the different strategies that we used did not include 
the uh, label power strategy. So we comment that probably future experiments we can use the label power because it requires a lot of uh, heavy machines. I, I thank you, these are the references. No, I thank you, Chair. Thank you very much uh, for that presentation. That's within the required time. Um,